The Yangtze River, stretching over 6,300 kilometers, is not just the longest river in Asia, it is the lifeblood of China, winding through some of the nation's most fertile and industrially vital regions. This river is key to China's economic ambitions. In recent years, this mighty river has become the stage for one of the world's most ambitious and controversial engineering feats, the construction of an unprecedented network of mega dams. From the colossal Three Gorges Dam to a series of other towering dams, China has already transformed the Yangtze into a hydroelectric powerhouse, capturing the attention of the world. And now, the Chinese government has started work on more than a dozen new mega dams along the upper section of the Yangtze. What's more is, these dams are being constructed in one of the most earthquake-prone places on Earth. There is also the issue of entire Tibetan towns being flooded, triggering protests in some of the most tightly controlled communities in China. So why is China investing billions into this massive and controversial infrastructure project? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. China's economy has grown at an unprecedented rate over the past few decades, and with that growth has come an insatiable demand for energy. One of the primary motivations for building mega dams along the Yangtze is economic development and energy security. Hydroelectric power is seen as a crucial component of China's energy mix because it offers a clean, renewable, and reliable source of electricity. By building more dams, China aims to reduce its dependence on coal, which currently accounts for the majority of the country's energy production. The Three Gorges Dam, completed in 2012, is a prime example of this approach. The dam that has been hailed as one of the greatest engineering achievements of the 21st century. Located in Hubei Province, the Three Gorges Dam stretches over 2 kilometers across the Yangtze River and stands 185 meters tall. It is the world's largest hydroelectric power station by installed capacity, capable of producing 22,500 megawatts of electricity. The dam has been instrumental in helping China reduce its reliance on coal, cutting down carbon emissions, and advancing the nation's push for cleaner energy. There is also the $31 billion Beihetan Dam. It took more than 10,000 construction workers and about 8 million cubic meters of concrete to build this mega dam. Beihetan Dam generates 16,000 megawatts of power, more than double the amount of electricity generated by the Grand Coulee Dam, one of the biggest in the United States. And these are just two of the dams along the Yangtze. Imagine the potential for hydropower generation with a dozen new dams. As China continues to expand its energy infrastructure, the focus has increasingly shifted to the southwest region, which has become the epicenter of China's hydropower ambitions. The area is home to some of the most powerful and dynamic river systems in the world. One of the most critical sections of China's hydropower strategy is the upper stretch of the Yangtze River, known as the Jinsha River, which flows between the autonomous region of Tibet and the province of Sichuan. This section alone is estimated to hold enough hydropower potential to generate 112 gigawatts of electricity. To put that into perspective, this is more than the total installed hydropower capacity of many nations combined. The concentration of hydropower potential in this area is unparalleled to anywhere else in the world. The unique geography of the region, with a series of fast-flowing rivers that drop steeply from the Tibetan plateau to the lowlands, creates a tremendous amount of kinetic energy that can be converted into electricity. But the problem is, even though there is a lot of potential energy for hydropower in the area, there is also a lot of geological instability. The dams are being built on unstable grounds, surrounded by steep mountainsides in one of Asia's most earthquake-prone areas. This part of the Jinsha River is especially vulnerable due to the convergence of tectonic plates and the presence of numerous fault lines. Building dams in such an unstable environment demands the best technology there is and an extraordinary level of effort, along with overcoming immense logistical hurdles. For instance, the largest dam in this series is set to reach a height of 239 meters, surpassing the height of the Hoover Dam in the United States. Constructing this dam is particularly complex because it is situated directly on the riverbed. 
Engineers will need to stabilize it by reinforcing the base with a mix of rocks and concrete to solidify the soft, unstable riverbed. Additionally, due to the risk of landslides and avalanches along the sides of the dam, massive concrete barriers will have to be installed up the steep walls of the gorge to provide further reinforcement. In 2007 alone, there were more than 100 earthquakes between the Sichuan Basin and the Jinsha River. And then, in 2008, there was a massive earthquake in Wenchuan at the top of the Sichuan Basin, not that far from the Jinsha River. That earthquake, one of the largest China has experienced in the last few hundred years, left more than 87,000 people dead. Critics warn that constructing dams in such a seismically active zone poses significant risks, as a major earthquake could potentially lead to catastrophic dam failures. If one dam were to fail due to seismic activity, it could trigger a chain reaction of collapses downstream, amplifying the disaster with each subsequent breach. Despite these concerns, the Chinese government continues to advance these projects, driven by the need to secure energy supplies and sustain economic growth. But the threats associated with these dams extend beyond the threat of earthquakes, posing a risk to Tibetan heritage sites and ancient communities in the area. The construction of these dams will create vast reservoirs that will stretch for tens of kilometers up the valleys, leading to the displacement of entire villages. Although the Chinese government has sought to mitigate these issues by providing compensation to those affected, many believe that these payments do not adequately compensate for the loss of homes, livelihoods, and cultural heritage. Relocated communities often face difficulties adjusting to their new environments, encountering obstacles in finding jobs and accessing essential services. The construction of the Kamtok Dam, also known as the Gungtuo Dam, came to widespread attention in February 2024, when large public protests in eastern Tibet against the dam were broken up by police. Research by Tibet groups has found that the dam would displace a minimum of 4,000 Tibetans across the two counties and submerge two villages, as well as six Tibetan monasteries, some of which house precious Buddhist murals more than 500 years old. Although the report did not specify which religious sites would be affected, experts suggest that Wanto Monastery, which dates back to the 13th century, is among those at risk. During the Cultural Revolution, many Tibetan monasteries were destroyed, leading to a significant loss of cultural heritage. But Wanto Monastery was one of the few that survived. Its walls feature a collection of frescoes and murals that have been preserved for centuries. The planned reservoir would inundate and destroy these 700-year-old artworks, erasing a vital piece of Tibetan cultural history. Meanwhile, with the construction of these dams, there would be irreversible environmental impacts. These dams would impact one of the largest rivers on Earth, disrupting its natural flow, altering habitats, and affecting biodiversity. Fish populations have been severely impacted by the construction of dams, as many species rely on free-flowing rivers for spawning. The Yangtze River is home to several endangered species, including the Chinese paddlefish and the Yangtze finless porpoise, and their populations have declined as a result of habitat loss and changes in water quality. According to the experts, the dam threatens not only Tibet's fragile biodiversity, but also contributes to worsening climate change, as large-scale hydroelectric dams are known to increase greenhouse gas emissions and exacerbate natural disasters like landslides and floods. The construction of the world's largest network of mega-dams along the Yangtze River is a testament to China's ambition to secure its energy future, manage its water resources, and assert its technological prowess on the global stage. The new mega-dams along the Jinsha are key to China's energy ambitions, but it's clear now that they come with substantial risks. There's big potential here, but if anything goes wrong, it could have catastrophic consequences. China's approach to harnessing the power of its rivers offers both lessons and warnings. The lessons learned from the Yangtze could have far-reaching implications, not just for China, but for other countries around the world that are looking to develop their own hydroelectric infrastructure. Finding a way to responsibly manage natural resources 
while meeting the demands of a growing population will be one of the key challenges of the 21st century. Only time will tell if China's approach to the Yangtze River will be seen as a model of progress or a cautionary tale of overreach. What are your thoughts on these mega dams? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.